Hey guys, today my co-teachers left early, giving me free range of my classrooms, and so I wanted to take this opportunity to show you what an English classroom looks like in South Korea. Every day I teach two fifth grade classes in this classroom. As you can see, we have the desks grouped together so that the students are in groups and teams of four. That is because we try to have a student-centered classroom where students are the focus and us teachers are just conductors. We have whiteboards and we have a bunch of whiteboards. I have four whiteboards and we use them all. Over here we have a TV which is great for PowerPoints and showing movies. Unfortunately, my classroom does not have a smart TV like a lot of classrooms here in Korea do have. But fortunately, we don't have a chalkboard. Just spent the last month teaching our students uh, Count On Me. If you know that song, you can't count on me. Anyways, um, part of the, the teaching process was we had them all draw pictures of the song. And so that's what you see all along the wall here. These are the students' name tags. This was to help us get to know them. We try to learn their Korean name and their English name. We didn't let them choose any names like Carrot or Elvis or Pineapple, like some students love to do. And so we made sure they all had real English names. Anyways, for those people who are concerned about that. And it was just Halloween, so you can see we have a bunch of scary faces, jack-o'-lanterns, ghosts, ghouls, and monsters. And uh, what else should I show you? Ooh. Let's check out the supplies. Crayons, glue, we have scissors, lots of extra curriculums and notebooks in case students need them. A bunch of mini whiteboards in case we play games as students need to write things. Okay, there's that. The students do clean the classroom themselves, so we have a closet full of brooms for them. Fun fact, I bought a broom for me because the short brooms are too small. And uh, as of this last weekend, someone broke it. It was not me. Out of there. Bunch of things. We got party hats, yay. We got... Anyways, lots of props, resources, puppets, costumes, giant books, which are great for first grade and second grade, and lots and lots of magnets. And those are also really great for first and second grade. Let's check out my working area. This is where I work. This is where I plan my lessons. This is where I spend my desk warming. My co-teacher sits over here. She is great. I got really lucky with my co-teacher because a lot of people don't have great co-teachers, but I have amazing co-teachers. I have one, two, three, six hours of after-school classes a week. And so on top of all the regular lesson planning that I do, I also have a whole bunch of other lesson planning. So unlike some teachers who really hate desk warming, I love desk warming because I don't have enough of it. Here are my textbooks. Um, I only teach fifth and sixth grade. And so these are both of them. They are YBM. If you use these, make sure you hit me up and we can swap materials because I love sharing ideas. Candy, because students love candy, but make sure you use it sparingly, otherwise you will be broke. Candy is a privilege, not a right. That is it for this fifth grade classroom. Let's go upstairs and do the same exact thing to my sixth grade classroom. Right this way. Right this way. Okay, we're probably, we're gonna whisper because school's out now and it's dark. We don't have to whisper. That was a bad idea. Let's go. Down here, you can see a good view of just a hallway. That's what a hallway looks like. Dark, or is it all right? All right, welcome to my sixth grade classroom. I teach two classes here a day, and those classes are 30 students at least, with 31 and 32 occasionally. As you can see, the biggest difference is that the desks aren't facing each other like they are downstairs. This is because when I first arrived, sixth grade had a lot of behavioral issues. They were really hard for me and my co-teacher to control. So we turned them around. They face the front now. This is just because discipline. Okay, let's take a look at the walls. Over here. 
The first thing you'll see here is all of our students' name tags. And like fifth grade, they also have English names. This is because it's an English classroom, we speak English here, and as practice, they have English names. I have a Korean name as well, so I made a Korean name, they made English names, we traded. Stickers, because we do have a points reward system where they get dollars and then can redeem those for snacks, candy, and school supplies. I love this whiteboard, I use this whiteboard a lot. And then I also have more whiteboards over here, another TV for PowerPoints. My nice industrial printer so that making lots of paper copies for sixth grade is never a problem. See, this is fun, this is fun. I got chalkboards. I got chalkboards, just in case they ever need chalkboards. Wanna guess how many times I've used those? Never, all right. Well, that wraps up this classroom tour. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, share with anyone who might be curious about what it's like to teach in Korea, and if you have any questions at all about Korea or teaching here, make sure you leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you, and if you wanna check out any other of our social media links, those are down there as well.